And may you make every crooked path before us straight in the mighty name of Jesus. We welcome your presence into this fellowship, Father. Have your way, Father, even as we proceed. For this is our humble prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. We are at number three of our program. Let's have the animations for the first lesson. Still waiting for the animations, and as we, they do that, the IT team, uh, Charity Ombogo, will come forward immediately after the animations so that she can do the first lesson. lifted up and highly exalted. Just as there were many who were appalled at him, 
His appearance was so distinct. He went back into the palace. Beyond that of any and human asked being. Jesus, and his form marred beyond human likeness. So he will sprinkle many nations, and kings will shut their mouths because of him. For what they were not told, they will see. And what they have not heard, they will understand. Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away, yet who of his generation protested? For he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people he was punished. He was assigned the grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth. Yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he... Good afternoon, church. Uh, our first lesson uh, is coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 53, verse 1 to 12. Isaiah 53, verse 1 to 12. The topic is the suffering servant. And I read, Who will believe our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shoot and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering a familiar, and familiar with pain, like one from the from whom people hid their faces. He was despised, and we held him in low esteem. Surely, he took up our pain and bore our suffering. Yet, he was yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed. We all, like, a sh like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter. And as a sheep before the shearers is silent, so he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested, for he was cut off from the land of the living. For the transgression of my people, he was punished. He was assigned a grave with the, with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord, uh, it, was, it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord make the uh, the Lord makes his life an offering for sin. He will see his offspring and prolong his days. And he will, um, and the will of the Lord will, 
will prosper in his hand. After he, he has suffered, he will see the light of life and be satisfied. By his knowledge, my righteous servant will justify many and he will bear their iniquities. Therefore, I will give him a portion among the great and will divide the spoils with the strong because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors. For he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And this is the word of the Lord. At voices, will give us two numbers. The first song, I know that my Redeemer liveth. And then, were you there when they crucified my Lord? are waiting for the accompanist, please. The accompaniment has already been given.
you, Shepherd Voices. Can we can now get um, animations for the second lesson, please? And as we do that, Cristiano Karaoke, stand by. You will come in immediately after the animations for the second team. Jesus turned round, looked at his disciples, and rebuked Peter. Get away from me, Satan, he said. Your thoughts don't come from God, but from human nature. Then Jesus called the crowd and his disciples to him. If anyone wants to come with me, he told them, he must forget self, carry his cross, and follow me. For whoever wants to save his own life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for me and for the gospel will save it. Do people gain anything if they win the whole world, but lose their life? Of course not. There is nothing they can give to regain their life. If a person is ashamed of me and of my teaching in this godless and wicked day, then the Son of Man will be ashamed of him when he comes in the glory of his Father with the holy angels. Good afternoon, church. The second lesson comes from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 8, verse 30 to 33. Mark, chapter, 30, chapter 8, verse 30 to 33. And I read, And he charged them to tell no one. Living Spring. Living Spring, please.
we now invite the Sunday school children. They are going to present two songs. Sunday school children, can we clap for them as they come? Thank you, thank you, our dear young ones. Karibuni, karibuni.
Very nice. Another presentation from the Sunday School. Sunday school children. Those are wonderful songs. Tuapigie makofi hata wakitoka tafadhali tusichoke. Wameimba vizuri sana. We can hear those are such angelic voices and they're coming up so well. Well done our dear teachers for training our children very very well. Cathedral place simply.
Oh, my God. 
Beautiful singing. Now we get animations for the third lesson. Animations for the third lesson as Maureen Duta prepares to give us a reading. And one after another they said to Jesus, You surely don't mean me. He answered, It is one of you twelve men who is eating from this dish with me. The Son of Man will die, just as the scriptures say, but it is going to be terrible for the one who betrays me. That man would be better off if he had never been born. During the meal, Jesus took some bread in his hands. He blessed the bread and broke it. Then he gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, it is my body. Jesus picked up a cup of wine and gave thanks to God. He gave it to his disciples and they all drank some. Then he said, this is my blood, which is poured out for many people. And with it, God makes his agreement. From now on, I will not drink any wine until I drink new wine in God's kingdom. Then they sang a hymn and went out to the Mount of Olives. Jesus said to his disciples, All of you will reject me, as the scriptures say. I will strike down the shepherd, and the sheep will be scattered. But after I am raised to life, I will go ahead of you to Galilee. Peter spoke up, Even if all the others reject you, I never will. Jesus replied, This very night, before a rooster crows twice, you will say three times that you don't know me. But Peter was so sure of himself that he said, even if I have to die with you, I will never say that I don't know you. All the others said the same thing. The Lord's Supper, Matthew chapter 26, verse 26 to 30. Now as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, eat, this is my body. And he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, drink of, drink of it, all of you, for this is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins. I tell you, I shall not drink again of this fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went out, to the Mount of Olives. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. We are now going to get animation for the fourth lesson as Jora Mwangai prepares to give us a reading. After they ate together, Jesus told his disciples, Tonight, you will abandon me. Not me, said Peter boldly. I will never leave you, Jesus. Jesus sighed. 
before the rooster crows to greet the morning, you will say three times that you don't know me. I'll die with you before I do that, Peter said. When they came to the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus asked his disciples to pray with him. The disciples were tired. They fell asleep. Jesus prayed alone to the Father. Jesus knew his enemies wanted him dead. He also knew that dying was God's plan for him. Show me another way, he prayed. Otherwise, in the garden. Our fourth lessons comes from the book of Matthew 26. After from verse 47 to 56, Jesus arrested. While he was still speaking, Judas, one of the twelve, alive with him was a large crowd armed with swords and crabs, sent from the chief priest and the elders of the people. Now the betrayer had alleged a signal with them. The one I kiss is the man. Arrest him. Going at once to Jesus, Judas said, Greetings, Rabbi, and kissed him. Jesus replied, Do what you came, you come for, friend. Then the man stepped forward, says to Jesus, and arrested him. With that, one of Jesus' companions reached for his sword, drew it out, and struck the servant of the high priest cutting of his ear. Put your sword back in its place, Jesus said to him, for all who draw the sword will die by the sword. Do you think I cannot call on my father and he will at once put at my disposal more than 12 regions of angels? But how then will the scripture be fulfilled that say it must be happen in this way. In that hour, Jesus said to the cloud, am I reading a rebellion that you have come out with swords and crabs to capture me? Every day I sat in the temple, caught, teaching, and you did not arrest me. But this has all taken place that the writings of the prophets might be fulfilled. Then all the disciples deserted him and freed. This is the word of God. Thank you. We shall all rise and sing the hymn number 189, Man of Sorrows.
is our seats as we listen to the animation for lesson five. Moses Home, you understand that? took Jesus and had him whipped. The soldiers made a crown out of thorny branches and put it on his head. Then they put a purple robe on him and came to him and said, Long live the king of the Jews. And they went up and slapped him. Pilate went back out once more and said to the crowd, Look, I will bring him out here to you to let you see that I cannot find any reason to condemn him. Look, here is the man. So Jesus came out wearing the crown of thorns and the purple robe. Crucify him! Crucify him! Take him then and crucify him. I find no reason to condemn him. We have a law that says he ought to die because he claimed to be the son of God. When Pilate heard this, he was even more afraid. He went back into the palace, then asked Jesus, Where do you come from? But Jesus did not answer. He will not speak to me. Remember, I have the authority to set you free, and also to have you crucified. You have authority over me only because it was given to you by God. So the man who handed me over to you is guilty of a worse sin. When Pilate heard this, he tried to find a way to set Jesus free. If you set him free, that means you are not the emperor's friend. Anyone who claims to be a king is a rebel against the emperor. When Pilate heard these words, he took Jesus outside and sat down on the judge's seat in the place called the Stone Pavement. In Hebrew, the name is Gabbatha.
It was then almost noon of the day before the Passover. Pilate said to the people, Here is your king. Kill him. Fifth the lesson. Jesus is sentenced to death. Luke chapter, Luke chapter 23 from 13 to 25. Luke chapter 23 from 13 to 25. And I read. Pilate then called together the chief priests and the rulers of the people and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was perverting the people and after examining him before you, behold, I did not find this man guilty of any, any of the charges against him. Neither did Herod, for he sent him back to us. Behold, nothing deserving death has been done before him, be, done by him. I will therefore chastise him and release him. But the old cried out together, Away with this man, and release us Barabbas, a man who had been thrown into prison for an insurrection, started in the city, and for murder. Pilate addressed them once more, desiring to release Jesus, but they shouted out, Crucify him, crucify him. A third time he said to them, Why? What evil has he done? I have found in him no crime deserving death. I will therefore chastise, chastise him and release him. But they, all, but they were urgent, demanding with loud cries, and he should, cruci and should be crucified. And, they, and their voices prevailed. So Pilate gave sentence that their demand should be granted. 25. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, whom they asked for, but Jesus delivered up to their will. This is the word of the Lord. We now invite Majestic Tutti for two songs. Majestic Tutti, please. The stage is here. Good evening, everyone. Um, we're going to be singing Baba Yetu, um, a Swahili adaptation of the Lord's Prayer by Chris Kiagiri and music by Christopher Tin. Be blessed, eh?
Baba yetu yetu liye binguni yetu yetu Amina baba yetu yetu liye Jina la kweli tukuzwe Leo chakula chetu tunachohitaji utusamehe makosa yetu eh kama na sisi tunamwosomehe wanao tukosea usizuti katika majani kula kini utuokoe na yule uokoe mlele chetu tunachohitaji utusamehe makosa yetu eh kama na sisi tunavosomehe wanao tukosea usituti katika majaribu lakini tuokoe na yule kuovue milele them a, a better clap a better clap please that the children leave uh, the children are leaving the stage i almost thought i was at the masai mara did you guys think you're there huh? okay anyway now matthew 5 5 oh matthew 5 14 you are the light of the world a town built on a hill cannot be hidden neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl instead they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. So I just want to urge you, even this time, this holy time, or rather this Palm Sunday, be a light to everyone, okay? Let's shine it to everyone. Now, as the song we're going to sing is Carry the Light by um, Twyla Paris. Be blessed.
Thank you. Thank you, Majestic Tuti. Now we invite Tins Coral. Tins Coral. Our teenagers, this is your chance. We don't have to, we don't seem to be having our teens around here. Uh, so we move on to the Cathedral IT team. Cathedral IT team. Karibuni, Karibuni, they're quite a number. IT team, Karibuni. Okay, 
languages of Kenya. A clap for them again. Thank you. Now we get animations for the sixth lesson as Yudis Kamau stands by. Animations for the sixth lesson, please.
garments among them and cast lots upon my vesture. All they that see me laugh me to scorn, saying, He trusted on the Lord that he would deliver him. Let him deliver him. In my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? Our sixth lesson is taken from the book of Matthew, Matthew chapter 27 from verse 32 to 44, and Jesus is crucified. It says, as they were marching out, they came upon a man of Seri, Simon by name. This man they compelled to, cross, to carry his cross, and when they came to a place called Golgotha, which which means the place of skull. They offered him wine to drink, margot with a girl, but when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And when they had crucified him, they divided his garment among them, them by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watching over him there. And, of, and over his head, they put the charge against him, which read, this is Jesus, the king of the Jews. The two robbers were crucified with him, one on the right and one on the left. And those who, were, and those who passed by dealt him, wagging their head and saying, You who would destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. If you are the son of God, come down from the cross. So also the chief priest, with the scribes and elders mocked him, saying, he, sav he saved others, he cannot save himself. He is the king of Israel. Let him, come down from, let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God deliver him now. If he desires him, for, if he desires him, for he said, I am the son of God. And the robbers who were crucified with him also revealed him in the same way. And this is the word of the Lord. Praise him. Praise him. It's your chance with one song.
musician who was requested to sing. She has, she's, she's a very um, good upcoming musician. Uh, let her come. Her name is Mumbi. Her name is Mumbi. Mumbi, let's clap for her as she comes. Let's clap for her as she comes. Wow. Oh. And Mumbi has been accompanied by her father, Reverend Loli. Uh, that's beautiful. Good support there. Mumbi, when you are ready. Good afternoon. My name is Atara Mumbi, and I'm going to sing a song called A Child's Prayer. Heavenly Father, At that time, Jesus shouted, Eloi, Eloi, lema sabachthani, which means, my God, my God, why have you deserted me? Some of the people standing there heard Jesus and said, is he calling for Elijah? One of them ran and grabbed a sponge. After he had soaked it in wine, he put it on a stick and held it up to Jesus. He said, let's wait and see if Elijah will come and take him down. Jesus shouted and then died. At once, the curtain in the temple tore in two from top to bottom. A Roman army officer was standing in front of Jesus. When the officer saw how Jesus died, he said, this man really was the son of God. Seventh lesson taken from the book of Matthew 27 verse 45 to 54 Matthew 27 45 to 54 the death of Jesus and I read 
Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabaltani, this is my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is called Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice, and yielded up his spirit. And behold, the curtain of the temple was torn into two, from top to bottom, and the earth shook, and the rocks were split, the tombs also were opened, and many bodies of the saints who had fallen asleep were raised. And coming out of the tombs after his resurrection, they went into the holy city and appeared to many. When the centurion and those who were with him, keeping watch over Jesus, saw the earthquake and what took place, they were filled with awe and said, Truly, this was the Son of God. And that is the word of God. Thank you. Thank you, Queen. Now we have Shepherd Voices. Please come for one song as the counseling team prepares. One rombe, Jado Locorocado, Bune, Heroda, Yes, Lemacado, Bune, Emma, Okay, 
Ogima, Okelo Gima, Oliwa Giwa. Thank you, thank you, Shepherd Voices. Now we are inviting the counseling team. Counseling team, Cathedral Counseling Team, welcome. Tuapigie Makofi wanapo kuja. Awa wako na kazi nzuri sana. Na kutupati ya mawaida. Karibuni, karibuni.
beautiful, beautiful. Thank you so much. Our counseling team from the cathedral of the Good Shepherd. You only get such at the cathedral. So we are now moving on to the eighth lesson. The eighth lesson, animation for that. And then Alan Kahungo, please stand by. Stand by in place of Faith Kinyanjui. That Sabbath was an especially important one. The Jewish leaders asked Pilate to have the victim's legs broken and the bodies taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the two men who had been crucified with Jesus, first the one and then the other. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one of the soldiers pierced his side with a spear and blood and water flowed out immediately. For these things happened so that the scripture would be fulfilled. Not a bone of his will be broken. And again, another scripture says, they will look on the one whom they have pierced. Now when evening had already come, since it was the day of preparation, that is the day before the Sabbath, Joseph of Arimathea, a highly regarded member of the council, who was himself looking forward to the kingdom of God, went boldly to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. Pilate was surprised that he was already dead. He called the centurion and asked him if he had been dead for some time. When Pilate was informed by the centurion, he gave the body to Joseph. Nicodemus, the man who had previously come to Jesus at night, accompanied Joseph, carrying a mixture of myrrh and aloes, weighing about 75 pounds. And they took Jesus' body and wrapped it with the aromatic spices in strips of linen cloth according to Jewish burial customs. Now at the place where Jesus was crucified, there was a garden, and in the garden was a new tomb where no one had yet been buried. And so, because it was the Jewish day of preparation and the tomb was nearby, they placed Jesus' body there. Somo letu la nane, mada ikiwa ni kuziko kwa Yesu. Inapatikana katika kitabu cha Mathayo, mlango wa 27, kuanzia mstari wa 57, hadi sitini Hata ilipokuwa jioni akafika mtu tajiri wa Arimathaya jina lake Yusufu naye mwenyewe alikuwa mwanafunzi wa Yesu Mtu huyu alimwendea Pilato akaomba mwili wa Yesu ndipo Pilato akaamuru apewe Yusufu akautua mwili akauzonga zonga katika sanda ya kitani safi akaweka katika kaburi lake jipya alilokuwa amelichonga mwambani akavingirisha jiwe kubwa mbele ya mlango wa kaburi akaenda zake ili ndilo leno la Bwana We now invite Living Spring, the one song, and then the pastoral team and staff be on standby.
Thank you. Thank you, Living Spring. Now we invite our pastoral team and staff. Makofi kwao, makofi kwao. Wapigieni makofi, encourage them please. Uh, as they wait for their start. Karibuni. So encouraging our spouses to join us. By the way, uh, we also invite the spouses of the pastoral team members, pastoral team, their spouses and staff. Mm -hmm. Wale wako around, tafadhali karibuni. Wapigu ya makofi, tuendele kwa encourage. There they are, they are coming. Thank you, staff wa cathedral. Uh, spouses wao, ninaona Mrs. Muli yako hapo, ninaona Mr. Muga. Thank you, can you clap for them as they come, please? Ninaona Jeremy. On a solo. Very good, very good, very good. Karibun.
very good song. Thank you so much. Our pastoral team, your spouses, and the staff of the cathedral. Now we are coming to almost the end. We have the cathedral IHF choir. Please come forward and sing one song. Cathedral IHF choir.
Thank you. Thank you very much. That is the Cathedral IHF Choir. You remember last year we were in Dodoma, and this was one of the pieces. We can only find it at the Cathedral. Praise God. Amen. Amen. So we are now uh, going to the lesson, uh, ninth lesson, the last lesson. Animation for the ninth lesson, please. And then Henry Odiambo, please stand by. And he was hung between two thieves. The skies turned black, and Jesus died. Later that night, he was buried in a tomb. It had been three days since Jesus died. When the women got there, they couldn't believe their eyes. The stone had been rolled away. The soldiers were so frightened, they were like dead men. An angel of God was sitting on the stone. Don't be afraid. Jesus is alive. The women were as happy as they could be. They ran to tell the good news. Some of Jesus' friends didn't believe what the women said. But everything the women said was true. Jesus really was alive. He had risen from death. A little later, two of Jesus' friends were walking along a road when Jesus joined them. At first, they didn't know who it was, but they liked talking with this man. They invited him to have dinner at their house. So Jesus came in, and while he was thanking God for the food, they realized who he was. And then Jesus disappeared. Another night, Jesus appeared in a room where many of his friends were gathered. He told them to tell their family, friends, neighbors and strangers that he was alive. Share everything I've taught you, first with the people in Jerusalem, then to people everywhere. But wait in Jerusalem until God sends you a special gift of power from heaven. Jesus led his followers a little way out of town and prayed for them. While he was praying, he started to rise up into heaven. Then a cloud hid him from his followers. As everyone was standing there, staring up into heaven, two angels appeared beside them and said, Jesus has been taken away from you and into heaven. One day he will come back in the clouds, just like he went away. Praise God. Our ninth lesson is coming from the book of uh, Matthew, chapter 28, verse 1 to 10. And I read, Now after the Sabbath, toward the dawn of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went to see the scepture, and behold, there was a great earthquake, for an angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone and sat up on it. His appearance was like lightning, and his raiment white as snow. And for fear of him, the guards trembled and became like dead men. But the angel said to the women, Do not be afraid, for I know. That you, that you seek Jesus Christ, Jesus who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen as he, is say, as he said. Come see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. And behold, he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him. Lo, I have told you. So they departed quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy and ran to tell his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them and said, Hail! And they came up and took hold of his feet and worshipped him. 
Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my, breth my brethren to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Henry. Now we stand. We, it is now time for us to hear the word of God. Let's stand and sing the congregational hymn number 43, Muda Mwingi Nilipotea. Jesus teach us how to live wisely and be harmless but also transform the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. We can sit. Thank you for creating time to come back and to just enjoy the songs that we have listened to, the readings that we have heard, all this in preparation for Easter. And thank you for all those who, and thank you to all those who have been involved in one way or another to organize this special service. I ask the IT to give us Matthew chapter 10, verse 16 to 20. We will read together, say one or two, three things, and then the Lord will have spoken to all of us. We read together. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be wise as serpents and innocent as doves. Be aware of men, for they will deliver you up to councils and flog you in their synagogues, and you will be dragged before governors and kings for my sake, to bear testimony before them and the Gentiles. When they deliver you up, do not be anxious how you are to speak or what you are to say, for what you are to say will be given to you in that hour. For it is not you who speak, but the Spirit of your Father speaking through you. That is the word of the Lord. So uh, the life of Jesus, as we have seen, we have gone through it, through all the readings that we read. I find him a very interesting man. 
in my carnal thought kwa mawazo yangu ya kibinadamu pale ambapo nina expect Yesu kutoa ukali wake wote na ku na watu vizuri ananyamaza alafu pale penye ninaona ni kama hapa angenyamaza tu na story ishe anakuwa mkali sana He's a man who was very unpredictable uh, he was very wise if you are going through the readings you realize that sometimes he was challenged uh, to answer some questions and to say things and when he speaks you cannot ask him another question yani anakujibu style nyingine hata uwezi kuwa na follow up question because he was very wise he knew what to say when how and indeed like he has assured us and is assuring us in the last verses that we have read god his father and the spirit that make the trinity were with him and they always gave him what to say when how to say it and what to do in every situation do we desire such a life uh, reading this text i find it uh, quite uh, interesting that god is sending us out anatutuma na kule ambapo anatutuma anatutuma in a place that is not safe that first first i send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves and you know when he's sending us out there he knows that there is danger and in the morning i was talking about expectations sometimes what we expect from god is not what he needs us to do so maybe we always expect that god is going to send us out where he has already uh, ameondoa milima ameondoa miba uh, ameondoa mitaro ameondoa mawe sasa tunatakanga atutume mahali ambapo tunaenda pole pole tumelindwa na Yesu amaweka wingu juu yetu na akaweka chini yetu akaenda mbele na akaenda nyumba yetu like we pray we think that we are not going to go through hardships or we expect that for him to make sense as god we don't have to do the hard work but i want to tell your neighbor kazi ya kuruka mitaro ni yako <laughs> eh, kazi ya kuondoa mawe ni yako yeah that hard work that is where we are being sent ah, to fight with these wolves he's saying he's sending us as sheep in the midst of wolves it is the opposite we expect that wolves come to attack the sheep but now christ is sending us in our weak the way we are weak the way we are not worthy the way we don't know what to do the way we depend on him entirely he's, he's sending us to attack he's sending us in the battlefield to go and do the hard work and to represent him just like he represented his father when he was here on earth kwa hivyo we are not in the wrong place wewe ambaye ni mkristo na unasikia mambo imekusumbua sana umesombwa na mawazo watu hawakuelewi people don't want to do the right thing at the right time in the right way and you feel like the pressure of christianity is too much that is where christ wants you to be and he expects you to represent him very well and how do we represent him he gives us two creatures in this world i never thought i will learn anything from the snake in fact if a snake appears here i'll be the first one to go out hata kama magia kwa pale nitakuwa nimetoka kabla ageuke i fear snakes a lot i never thought i will learn anything from the serpent but christ is telling the disciples you have to be as wise as serpents and let us look at serpents uko kwetu kwenye nimetoka okay kwenye watu wanaitangwa kama mimi wametoka kwa sababu mimi nilizaliwa na kuru nikalelewa na kuru nikasomea na kuru nimeoa na kuru nafanya kazi na kuru naona kanta jenga na kuru sizi so <laughs> but <laughs> kwenye watu wetu wametoka watu wanaitangwa muli motuko nduko eh, those people eh yeah kuna nyoka wengi sana by the way there are so many snakes in our where my ancestors come from and sometime back because i have never visited them anyway all my ancestors ambao ni from the third generation nyuma yangu wote wametoka hapa subukia kianda sana na hapa chini so eh, 
au wengine wenye siwajui na sijawahi tembelea kuna wakati NTV ilifanya uh, a special feature about vipers in our area huko sometime back deadly vipers or something was the title and i was listening to our people talking about how they survive with with these serpents because there are too many you cannot kill them all so you have to learn how to survive with these things and now looking at this text and looking at that documentary i realize that it is very rare for a snake to attack a human being in fact it is us tunapelekanga uchokozi yetu huko it is very rare for snakes to attack human beings they don't attack they don't unless you provoke so hata walikuwa wanasema sisi hatunanga shida nazo lakini tunaambia watoto wetu wakienda shule uangalie kwenye unakanya na kanyaga cuz ukikanyaga mkia itageuka na ifanye nini ikuume lakini ukiipita hata ukikutana nayo kwa barabara uruke tu na uende they have no issue with with you they don't attack it is very rare for snakes to attack people in fact it is people who attack snakes snakes use their creativity and their wisdom to survive in very harsh conditions because they also have enemies including me and you see we are enemies of snakes eh ukiona kwako lazima igongwe kichwa ama muashe sijui moto nini yen mchome nitayo ama mnachomanga nini so they have to survive in a very wise way some camouflage so hata labda ulipitana nao na hukufanya nini hukuiona some pretend that they are dead some snakes will just stay there lifeless you try you prick unaguza guza na kijiti songi kani kama waendelea kuguza ikiamua kusonga <laughs> some flee immediately flee eh? immediately zinapotea tu na inaenda haitaki vita haitaki mambo ipanda miti nini ama inaingia kwa mawe na inapotea some ikiona umesumbua sana it will scare you but will not bite you it just wants you to uogope ufanye nini uende these are some of the tactics that vipers or snakes or serpents use just to survive and uh, to deal with the enemy and i think sometimes we find in ourselves we find ourselves in situations where we need to camouflage to survive for example when you get into a room and you are the only christian in a family of muslims do you tell them let us pray no i'm just asking do you tell them let us pray you know they are muslims sindio when do umeku Eh, especially vijana si wakifungua mnaenda kukula kwa hizo estate <laughs> do you tell them sasa jumu umefungua kabla hata jumu me to invite kabla tukule wacheni tuombe you allow them do their prayers does that make you, does that make you a lesser christian it doesn't but at that situation you don't have to say much you just hold on to your to your faith Sometimes you meet people ambao wana vita nyingi na nini na nini wana kelele and you decide to keep quiet pretending that you are najua mpendi hiyo jina pretending that you are dead ushaiena mahali unapigwa vita mpaka unaona hapa the only way to survive ni kunyamaza wafanye vile wanata wanataka and sometimes we are advised even by those people ambao ni security a people ukikutwa na watu nyumbani na wako na bunduki na wako na visu wapee Kenya wanata wachukue tu waende vitu tutatafuta te tena you pretend there is nothing you can do okay we ni mbaya unaweza wapiga <laughs> ni vile wako na gun na huna but you pretend that there is nothing you can you can do some situations will force us to flee eh? flee from the devil and he will yeah some situations si za kungoja si za kungoja ni kuona danger na unajua hapa mimi siko especially and my friends no watu wakianza kuongea kuhusu watu wengine hata mtajua nikienda 
e, najikutanga nimesimama tu ni kama nachukua simu piu, and i'm gone season situations za kuhepa e, na wapea two tips we are learning from the snake eh <laughs> eh kuna situations zingine you you just run acha ni wape story siku moja tulienda tulienda longo not na tukaenda longo not na tukazunguka hiyo mlima vizuri sana but when we were coming to the to the end kabla tuanze kuteremka tena and you know ni, ni mbali kidogo wenye wameenda kukataka kunyesha so one of our friends na bibi nishai wape hiyo story akaamua kudea Mungu kaona ule Mungu ambaye alisimamisha jua simamisha hii mvua sisi tufike mpaka wapi chini kwanza alafu sisi ambao labda compare na yeye wa people of little faith tulipona mvua inakuja tulikimbia <laughs> ndio unajua kuna tule tu ni gazibo ma zinaitwa nini to hearts tuko kwa hizo milestones tufike mahali tunaweza jikinga mvua ikitulia tufanye nini tuendelee my friend tuliacha ule msia kituombea alinyeshewa <laughs> alinyeshewa <laughs> by the time anatufikia hapo anataka kutuona <laughs> because you know young people watakukejeli tu si ndio there are situations where you don't fight so there are battles there are some spiritual battles where you don't fight you run you live you live while praying unakimbia ukiombanga yani to safety aha uh-huh. there are places where itabidi tutoe makucha lakini tusigwarane. Si ndio? Si kuna mtu anatasema kitu kuhusu imani yako, ibidi you defend but not with a sword, eh? Don't be like the disciple ambaye alikata mwingine maski. Maskio na Yesu akachukua akafanya nini? Akairudisha. But you can tell somebody I don't agree with that. Sina vita, atupigani mangumi, but don't say that about my God anymore. Or don't say that about my family. Or don't say that about my character. There are times we have to show that we know what we are doing but not to the extremes, not to bite, not to harm anyone. Have you learned some things from the snake? And the other part of it it says again be harmless as a dove. Sisi wote tunajua dove. It is very peaceful. A very innocent dove. It is very predictable. And you know there are situations where you should be predictable. Kuna situations where you should be predictable. Kuna mali mimi naingianga, ninajua tu kila mtu anangoja reva aombe. Very predictable. Hiyo ni kazi yangu, si ndio? Eh, kuna places naendanga, kila mtu anangoja ni mimi nitafanya nini nitahubiri ama ni mimi nitasema. There are places even in your families, in your work places where they should know ikifika ni maombi wacha wasemange hiyo ni ya Jose ama hiyo ni anani because you have already shown just like a dove a very innocent bird but everybody knows dove are easy ushaona mtu anatorokea dove by the way have you ever seen anybody run from a dove you know it's harmless it can do you nothing it is very recognizable that's why i'm saying we should be people who show our faith everywhere people akikuangalia hivyo anafaa kujua this is a dove this is a christian a dove is very consistent that is why we keep them Mwana vijana wakiweka doves nyumbani because when you show a dove that i will give you food at 10 am and i will give you food at 1 and i will give you food at 4 ikifika 10 utaisikia hapo ikifika 1 utaisikia hapo ikifika jioni utaisikia hapo hata ukiitengenezea tu nyumba kama vile vijana wanafanya inaweza toka na iende lakini uko sure itafanya nini itarudi. Hapa Kaptemboa vijana wenye tulilelewa nao Kaptemboa cause nimelelewa Kaptemboa. Eh, eh mimi na nimelelewa Kaptemboa lakini kwa mababi. <laughs> Kaptemboa ya mababi inaitwa Imani <laughs> inaitwa No Main. Unasikianga No Main? <laughs> imani. <laughs> eh yeye ni Kaptemboa ya mababi, nimelelewa huko. So kuna vijana wa Kaptemboa walikuwa na tuzianga ndutura. Nimesomea Martha Kevin by the way. Wanatuzia ndutura Muli anaenda nayo home kumbe anajua jioni itarudi kwa <laughs> jioni itarudi kwa so it is very consistent and we learn these things of being very harmless but peaceful innocent recognizable and consistent but let me tell you some things about this dove because you might think it is a very lazy dove 
it is a very faithful dove. Do you know when a dove and another dove fall in love, it is until death does them part. Go and research about doves. A dove will remain with one partner until death for life. And dove mwanaume na dove a lady jina mwanamke ni mbaya. Dove mwanaume na dove a lady they work together. They feed their young ones together. In fact, there is a certain milk kuna kajina inaitwa scientifically where they produce together and they give to their young ones until they become adults. Doves, go and research about doves. And doves are very fast. When it flies, it can hit 60 miles uh, per hour. A very fast uh, a very fast bird, which tells us that even if we are harmless and look innocent and look peaceful, we have work to be faithful to, to God. We have to work to be faithful to God. We have to be with God for better for, for us and work together with God and do the parenting work of God for both environment and for the young converts. And we should be very fast to take opportunities, very fast, and take opportunities to preach, take opportunities to minister, and then bring consistency so that our, everything that we do bears fruit. Everything that we do, consistency like the dove, bears fruit. And in all this, we are still maintaining peace and, and order. We are told to be harmless like a dove so that we don't fall into the temptation of kuchokozana ama ata retaliation. Wakati mtu anakufanyia kitu na wanataka kurudisha. Just be as harmless as, as a dove. Have you learned from the serpent and from the dove? Then the last part of it we are told, be aware of men. In fact, the greatest and the biggest enemy of man is fellow man. I know women, we have always said in you, mwana, adui wa manamke ni manamke mwenzake. Sasa mina sema, adui wa binadamu ni binadamu mwenzake. And as Christians, we don't expect people to understand us. And that is why Jesus is telling his disciples, you will be judged. You will be challenged by your fellow people. You will be ignored by your fellow people. In fact, for your faith, you will be punished. Kwa sababu ya kuamini utafanya nini? Utakuwa punished. I walked with Mr. Wangai. Mr. Wangai ule wakia munye. I know we have very many Wangais in this church. Na kaniambia, wakati aliokoka, alikuwa na kuja church, alafu wakienda homa na chapwa. Kienda homa nafanya nini? Uliona nani ya kienda kanisa huku? Uliachia nani, sijui nini? Ulifanya nini? Some people were punished because of believing in in God. And these punishments go on in various ways. In very, kuna mtu wana kutukana tu, wana jua na jua wezi mtukana. Juhu meokoka. Na ukijaribu kumjibu, wana ku, ay, ata wewe na ni wakanisa. Yani, ana kuprovoke. You will be judged, you will be challenged, you will be ignored, you will be punished. All these trials are avenues for testimony. And, you see, most of the people who were the first to give their lives to Christ in their families, later, after kutoeleweka, after kuwa punished, after kuwa nini, there are those people who brought salvation in their very, very homes. In your workplace, you will be punished for being righteous, for refusing corruption. But later, when the fruits of corruption, when the fruits of bad things are haunting those who put their guard down, they will remember kuna mmoja wetu ambaye alisimama na ukweli akakuwa punished but ona vile maisha yake iko sawa na sisi tulienda kidunia na sasa tunaumia. The good news is when we become faithful to God, he will sort our what, he will sort our how and he will help us to manifest his strength in every situation. That is why he is saying in that verse 20 yo ya mwisho nye tumesoma that don't worry about these difficult situations. I will tell you what to say. And I will tell you how to say it. Because it is not you who is speaking, 
it is God speaking through you. Do we commit to trust in the Lord in every situation? Do we feel encouraged to allow him to control our situations? May he give us the wisdom of the serpent, as he said. May he give us the, humble, the humbleness, harmlessness of a dove. May he fight our battles and may we be encouraged just to represent him. We know we are sheep, we are weak, we have been sent in the midst of wolves, but the Lord is going to make us successful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Thank you. That was an awesome time. We all stand to give our offertories. Wimbo ni msalabani pamokozi. Tutole mungu sadaka zetu. Ili kazi yake yendele. Give thanks for the offer tree. All things come from you, O Lord. Thank you.
we invite uh, our our warden grace Praise the Lord. We have a cup of tea that will be served outside, so let us give thanks. Mighty and ever-living God, this evening we humble ourselves before thy presence and the throne of mercy. Our hearts are full of gratitude. Thank you for the care. Thank you for your protection. We thank you, Lord, for provi providing unto us something to partake, O oh Lord. We ask you that as we partake of it, that you may sanctify it, that them that do not have, Lord, you also may remember them. We very well know there are many who have. They cannot enjoy because of the issues they are facing in their lives. Father, we pray that this very evening, Lord, would you visit them, meeting them at the points of their needs. Thank you, Lord, for we know it is because of your mercy that you have provided unto us. Be with us even as we partake it. In Jesus' name, we pray and also believe. Amen. Let us now have the final benediction as we depart from the house of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this, this year's Easter cantata. We have seen your hand, O oh God, working behind the scenes, together with the organizers of this, uh, this worship. We came here, O oh Lord, to be blessed by you. Our spirits have been lifted our souls have been elevated, O oh Lord. We have worshipped you through song. And we want to thank you, Lord, that we have been in your presence. Thank you for your blessing that abounds among your people. And we pray, O oh Lord, that your blessings will follow your people. When we depart from this, your house, O oh God, we pray that your presence will accompany us. As Moses said, uh, unless your presence comes with us, O oh Lord, we shall not move. Lord, we pray as we leave this house, as we go about our businesses, as we enter into this holy week, and as we go to our uh, businesses, our places of work, may you continue to work with us. We pray, Lord, that we will be lifted in our spiritual walk with you. We pray that we become different Christians. Today we were reminded that the enemy has begun the counterfeit churches. He has brought a different gospel. Even using the gadgets that we are using, he has infused and he has entered into our homes. Father, we pray for your defense, O oh Lord. We pray for your protection. We pray for your covering. I pray for the people who are under the, uh, the sound of this voice this day. For the fact that they made time to come to this place. We pray for them, O oh Lord, together with their loved ones. May your love surround them, O oh Lord. May your protection be with them. May you be their fortress. May you be their hope. May you strengthen them, O oh Lord. There are those who will be traveling through the, during the week. There are those who will be going up and down. There are those who will be going for interviews, for job opportunities and other opportunities, O oh Lord. We pray that you open their doors. May they have a reason to smile. May they have a reason to worship you. And we thank you for your word that came to us powerfully this evening. Lord, we have learned from the snake. We have learned from the dove. And you have also taught us to learn from man. Father, we pray that we will live circumspectively, O oh Lord. That we shall be wise because these are evil days. We pray that you help us to become serious Christians 
who are always seeking for you because you are a wonderful God. And now, may the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ fill you with all joy and peace in believing that by the power of the Holy Spirit you may abound in hope and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. God bless you so much. The Lord be with you. We shall receive the recessional hymn.